Yeah! Man! Oh man, as you can see, in the title of this video, it's not, it's not fake, it's for real. Let me break it down for you real quick, people! First thing I want to tell you is that the videos will continue. I will continue to be the little guy. May not be the little guy trucker, but it will be the little guy. Still going to call myself the little guy trucker, though, for now. Until uh, the next chapter uh, really takes off. Basically, what's going on, people, is, is that I miss my wife and kid. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. A lot of veteran drivers that, you know, watch my videos are going to be like, I told you, you couldn't hack it, right? Uh, super trucker! Ah! Well... I'm going to bow out gracefully, guys. And I know this is a shock. This is like, oh my god, where did this come from? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> this has been going on for a while, actually. You know, it's been building up in my brain for about mm, two months. Two, three months. I don't know. I've been toying around with the idea of going home and just being with my family. And then I'm like, ah, that's not done. <laughs> now, yeah, going home and finding another job is going to be really hard. But I've already got some things lined up. I wouldn't be quitting truck driving if I didn't have some ideas and some plans already set up. Um, might be working at Tire Kingdom doing tires, you know, doing uh, what I went to school for. You know, I mean, starting out there and uh, who knows, you know, I mean, maybe start my own business eventually like I want to. Uh, I've got this crazy idea that, you know, uh, I could start my own lawn service you know, on the side, make some extra money, and, uh, I got a lot of ideas flowing through my head, it's just the problem is, is when you're not home, you can't make ideas come true, so, what I'm, what I'm, the reason, the main reason I'm getting out of the truck driving industry is because I'm just missing too much time away from home from my wife and kid, especially around the holidays, I mean, I spent six years in the military, when my son was born, I had to go overseas, for a year and a half, you know, missed his, uh, you know, I missed, like, his first Christmas and stuff like that, you know, missed, like, his first steps, missed his first words, missed all that shit. Now he's five, and I'm missing stuff again, you know, pivotal things in his life that I, that, I, that are, you know, points in his life that are like, ah, you know, like, my wife was doing this whole elf on the shelf thing with him right now, and for Christmas, and it's just like, man, I'm missing all that shit again, and it sucks, so, uh, gonna go home, I got some things lined up, like I said, as I know, as I start breaking through those barriers, I'm gonna obviously make a video about it, keep you guys up to date, because, uh, to me, this has turned into a little reality show for you guys and myself, and like I said, I enjoy doing these videos for you guys, they're fun. And it's fun uh, talking with you guys, you know, and everything. So the videos aren't going to stop. So, um, This is a tough industry to be in, guys, truck driving. If you're a single guy, no wife, no kids, totally recommend it for you. Because you could save up a ton of money. You can make a ton of money, really, and just set yourself up for, like... If you're, if you're like, like I said, if you're, like, 20 years old, whatever, no wife, no kids, do this job. Start out. Do this job, get into a good company, and just save as much money as you can. And by the time, if you do it for like a good five years or whatever, you'll have tons of money in the bank saved up. I was originally going to drive a truck when I came out of the military the first time, when I, when I went to the reserves. But uh, I didn't have enough money for the school, and the GI Bill didn't cover it in time. So I didn't go and do it then like I wanted to. So I got into the truck driving industry last year because times got tough where I was living. Money was getting scarce. I was like, well, I could try doing this, you know, eh, you know. So I did it. I gave a good year of my life to this industry. I've experienced a lot. I've met a lot of nice people along the way. Um, I'm not burning any bridges, so if I have to come back to this industry, I always can. Here at Raven Transport, you know, they're looking after me. Um, even as I'm leaving, unfortunately. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I love driving this truck. I love, you know... 
doing all this stuff. I re I love doing it, but then there's those days where I wake up and I'm like, ooh, man, this sucks being alone. You know, another morning in a truck stop, another morning sitting in a certain rest area or something, you know. And it's tough. It really is tough. So, um, all I'm asking you guys is to keep riding along with me here. Because I'm going to keep making videos. We're going to keep doing fun stuff. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep making videos and having fun. So, um, like I said, this isn't this is no joke. I'm gonna do my last week here at Raven Transport, and I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna, uh, you know, um, gonna just do uh, do the uh, nine to five thing. I'm gonna figure it out. Everybody's like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do for money and medical benefits and everything? <laughs> well, like I said, you know, I, I put in some, um, um, But yeah, um, it, 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 I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. This is a, it's, uh, it's going to be um, kind of weird letting this truck go, letting the road go. But like I said, it's um, going to make the best of it, people. you got to stay motivated. you got to stay hungry. you got to keep going after your dreams. And when I came out of the Navy, I went to school for automotive technician school because I love working on cars. So maybe start out entire kingdom, you know, do a little work on the side, you know, maybe do my own lawn service on the side, save up some money. And then maybe one, the dream, the dream is to open up my own shop. That's the dream. Very, very far-fetched dream. Lots of money needed to, to make the dream come true. Probably won't come true. But I'm going to stay motivated. And, um, you know, I made another YouTube page a while back called J&M Customs and Performance. You know, that's what the name of our shop is going to be if we ever achieve that dream. I don't know. Maybe it'll come true. We'll see. I'm going to strive for it. But in the meantime, if I can get this job at... Either Sears, Tire Kingdom, Home Depot. I got applications in everywhere. The only promising one at this precise moment is Tire Kingdom and maybe a dealership. So, I mean, I've got some things lined up. It's just, it's going to be a rocky, rocky next couple of weeks with the holidays here and everything. Money is going to get tight. Ugh. But, like I said, I'm going to stay motivated. And I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, it really comes down to just being with the family. And, uh, that's really what it is. It's just, that's, it's just not being there, seeing my son, my wife, and just, it's, it, that, that's tough. Very tough. So. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, so. Hope you guys hang out and keep watching the show. And, uh, ride through this next chapter in my life. You know, it's crazy. But yeah, so let's stay positive. And um, let's uh, let's keep it. Let's stay motivated. Let's keep stay. Let's stay hungry, people, because uh, that's what this life is all about. You got to go after your dreams. And if I have an app, I think if I have the opportunity to, to uh, make that happen, I'm gonna make that happen. So. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll keep you updated. Bear with me. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is crazy. Sucks, but... I want to go home. Whatever. Talk to you guys later. Comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Do it now. Goodbye.